Alrighty guys, here's old Elvira. She is an all original numbers matching engine and transmission 1957 two door post. This is the cleanest car you will find this year. That's all original. Look at that, still running a generator instead of an alternator. I mean, this car just has it all, guys. Look at this straight perfect body door gaps that are out of this world man look at that like it came from the factory it's only been painted one time in 1981 it's been sitting in the same spot in the shop for 10 years and we just recently pulled her out i mean this thing is amazing Elvira is the best car around here, man. She is just beautiful. This is our 57 Nomad that when we got it in, it was in a front end accident. So we clipped the front and instead of putting a 57 front end on it, my boss went ahead and wanted to put a 55 front end on it, which I think it came out pretty good. It's got the tunnel ram and everything. But you can't beat an old Nomad. Beautiful car. Beautiful. This is just a random chop top we have here. The only good thing on this car is that Continental kit right there. And as you can tell, someone chopped the top off. I believe about 10 years ago some feller bought it off of Dan up in New York City was gonna turn it into a salad bar and guy paid for it and bought it never picked it up and it's been sitting here ever since but uh yeah y'all comment on here tell me if there's anything y'all would like to see from out here we got a lot of stuff to look at. I'll take y'all over here, show y'all a couple of the vehicles that uh, we just got done with. There's the El Camino again. Y'all have already seen that beautiful little piece of work. This is Ford panel wagon over here we've been working on for, shoot, it's been done forever. Little Valley Auto Ranch. That is who we are. We sell project cars, we sell classic car parts, and we sell fully restored vehicles. Nice little Cyclops on this sucker. It's made out of a uh, 257 front fenders welded together. And that headlight actually works. And it's like two inches below the maximum that you're allowed to have a light on these vehicles down here in Texas. And then we got this little bad sucker, little 55 panel wagon. We just got it back from the paint shop about a, about a week ago, I'd say. And we just put the exterior stuff on it, you know, put the bumpers, the headlights and the grills and uh, new rims and tires on it just so we could uh, take it to our swap meet so it looked halfway presentable. But it's a beautiful car too. There we are again. Little Valley Auto Ranch, Belton, Texas. Still got a lot of interior work to do. Got to make some panels and do some fabric work. But she's a pretty good old car. I just got a random seat in there for now just so we can drive it around. These right here, this is the seats that are gonna go in it. It came out of a uh, Chevelle. Those look nice in there, but uh, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe if y'all wanna see some more stuff. Uh, hopefully here in the next week or two, I'll be able to pop out some welding videos for y'all. And uh, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna post up a video of uh, doing the disc brake conversion kit on that old Ford over there and uh 
I'll post that video up, show y'all how easy that stuff is. Get rid of your old drum brakes. And go ahead and get you some nice new disc brakes on there. But yeah. Thanks for watching my videos and uh, keep tuned for more. Have a nice day.